an army of golden mantella frogs. In the wild, they are critically endangered. The tiny swamp areas in Madagascar, which provide their habitat, are being destroyed by pollution. They are also taken from the wild to become pets. They're the chirpiest, bounciest little frogs. Bright orange with really beautiful, big black eyes. They know that they're poisonous, so they use that with confidence to hop around and chirp around as, as much as they like. Because they know that if anything was to was to try and eat them, that they'd end up with a with a really sore tummy. <laughs> To help increase numbers, the zoo have been trying to breed the frogs, but lately they haven't had much success. In the wild, the males get the females' attention by singing to them. Hello, I'm with your friends. But in the zoo, they seem to have lost their voice. Hello, little fella. In the wild, the ponds are absolutely deafening. It's so noisy. There's so many males constantly calling, singing, trying to impress the females. But here at the zoo, it's just kind of going a bit quiet. Everyone's hiding now. And we want to really just give them a boost. We want to make sure that the males are calling. Can I escape? Can I escape? Oh. Oh, that was a schoolgirl error. The zoo's plan is to select some of the males for special voice coaching to help them woo the females, so their eggs get fertilised. They're so little as well, I don't want to squash them. <sighs> one, two, three. Five frogs. Five little boys. Oh, there's one that just chirped in the cup. He's plucky. So we're hoping if we play the recorded male mantella calls from the wild, then that will give the five boys a bit of inspiration. They're kind of having a little wrestle. Yeah. If the frogs can't improve their singing, it doesn't bode well for their future in the zoo or the wild. They're critically endangered in the wild, so it's really important that we keep the species going in captivity. So if we do get to the point where their old habitat has been restored, we have frogs to put back into the wild. Five of the male mantella frogs have been in a separate tank, working on their singing for the last few weeks. Long enough for the keepers to name them after the members of a well-known boy band. So we've got Robbie, Gary, Mark, Jason and Howard. Let's try and open this without them escaping. Ready, ladies. Some boys. It's now time to reintroduce them to the others to see if their songs can work their magic on the females. Well, two of the boys hop straight out. There's a couple that are a little bit more shy. He's the little chubby one. Come on. Don't mind. It's not scary. Not scary. There you go. Lunch. We're definitely hoping that the five boys are going to stir up a bit of competition. If they really get their act together and they're singing and, you know, they're, they're the full package to the females, then the other males, they haven't wooed a female for a while, they might kind of think, no, I'm, I'm going to get involved, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a go at this as well. Oh. There's a lot of... There's a lot of wrestling in the background. Oh, so this little fella's calling. So he looks like he's got his eyes on this one. Oh. The Mantella frog's eggs have evolved into tadpoles. When we found that eggs had been fertilised, we knew it was only going to be 24 hours before we found little tadpoles. So, yeah, to find that actually everybody had done their job is, yeah, really good news. <laughs> 